In this uh, module, we will look at some important aspects of Bernoulli equation. Uh, we will not derive this equation here, but consider uh, some of the assumptions and the terms that are present in Bernoulli equation, which is perhaps one of the most important equations uh, that we encounter when we are studying problems related to fluid flow. So if we were looking at a uh, small volume element of a fluid uh, and uh, we are examining its movement from let's say location 1 to location 2 along a stream line where a stream line is essentially a path that this volume element takes noting that the velocity of the fluid uh, at any point along this uh, stream line uh, is tangential along that line uh, and it's not across it uh, so uh, so this element is moving from location 1 to 2 then if we conduct a force balance on this uh, fluid element we will obtain p1 plus 1 by 2 rho u1 square plus rho g z1 equals p2 plus 1 by 2 rho u2 square plus rho g z2. So we have uh, these uh, three terms where p1 represents the pressure uh, at location 1 and the next term represents the kinetic energy at location 1 and the third term represents the potential energy uh, based on the elevation uh, for location 1 and what Bernoulli equation is telling us is that the sum of those terms at location 1 equals the sum of the three terms at location 2. Now there are certain assumptions that are made to obtain this uh, force balance that results in Bernoulli equation. Uh, one of them is that the locations 1 and 2 are on the same stream line. Second, that the fluid has a constant density. Uh, the density does not change and also it is incompressible uh, which is true for uh, liquids. Uh, then flow is inviscid. By that we mean the viscosity is zero. Now if fluid has low viscosities still Bernoulli equation gives us uh, quite good results. Four, that flow is steady uh, five, that there is no shaft work on or by the fluid and six, that there is no heat transfer between the fluid element and the surrounding fluid. We can also rewrite Bernoulli equation as P plus 1 by 2 rho u square plus rho g z equals constant. Now if we divide this equation with rho g uh, we get p over rho g plus 1 by 2 u square divided by g since the rho will cancel out plus z uh, again rho g will cancel out equals constant. So the terms in this expression are the first one is pressure head, second one is velocity head and the third is elevation head and uh, this equals uh, the total head at a given location. So the term head represents a height and uh, so the units are in meters. So if you take any of these terms uh, you will see that the units will cancel out to give us uh, units of height which will be meters. So uh, many times uh, in computations we use this expression uh, that calculates the head uh, at a given location. Again, this will become more clear as we solve some numerical problems uh, to determine head at a given location uh, in the uh, fluid system.